Hi YouTubers! Welcome to my channel and I'm here to give you a review on another book that I have read that is changing my life once again. Of course the first one was The Four Agreements and I left you my review on that book so if you haven't seen it um, check it out. But uh, the new book that I read that is uh, life-changing in a different way it's not um, uh, it's not, a, it's not a life, well, I guess it is sort of a lifestyle, but uh, The Four Agreements was more about how you live your life, how to be happy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This book is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It's the Japanese art of decluttering and organizing. It's by Maria Kondo, and of course it was on the New York's Best Time seller list. Millions of copies have been sold. Um, actually got it, uh, my daughter had gotten it first, and it was helping her, and so I was there one day and picked it up and couldn't put it down. It's it's really, really very cool. Um, one of the things that it helped me with is organizing my clutter and uh, making sense of what you need to keep and what you need to throw away and um, sort of like the minimalist, you know, keeping only the things that you really, really need and the things that bring you joy and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to share with you today uh, one of the chapters that I found was really helpful for me, which was how to organize your clothes. Um, and then if you read the book, it goes on to all the different aspects of your life. But um, the one that I'm going to zero in on today is the uh, the one about your clothes. And I'm the type of person that after I do my laundry, I take the clothes and sort of shove them in the drawers and don't do a lot of folding. Um, and the result of that is a lot of times you go to try to find a top or you a pair of pants or something and you kind of have to shuffle through everything. And uh, sometimes you even um, forget about clothes that you even had because it's sort of buried underneath all the other clothes. So um, I decided I'm going to really give this a try. Now, mind you, Rome was not built in a day. So don't think this is going to happen overnight. But for me, it only took about two or three days because I really got into it. And I've been able to keep it going um, and, and able to not, not revert back to my old ways. So um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to um, zero in on um, the clothes and the drawers and how you can um, just become so much more organized. And then when you're all done and you want to go into the next thing, you know, attack your attic or your, you know, um, I went into Halloween decorations. I had bins and bins and bins of Halloween decorations. And then finally I was like, you know what, do I even use half of these? And then you start making, you know, nice bags up for Goodwill or Impact or another, um, uh, another charity. So Anywho, let me go back to what I was saying about the clothes. So I'm going to share with you um, what I really, really, really thought uh, for me was so helpful. Again, it's the life-changing magic of tidying up. It's the Japanese art of decluttering and organizing. And it's an amazing book. Run out and get it or get it on Amazon. Um, it's definitely worth a read. But here's some of the tips that, um, that I took away. So here you go, the life-changing magic of tidying up. So the first thing you're going to do is take all of your clothes, pick a drawer. My drawer, the first one that I picked was all of my pants, and lay them on uh, the floor or on your bed and go through them one by one and start picking out which ones you want to keep, which ones you realistically wear, and which ones you want to give away or throw away. So get all your clothes out of the cabinet, out of the drawer, and lay them out and, and go through them one by one. Now once you've decided which pants you're going to keep, you're going to take each pants and you're going to lay them out on your bed and you're going to fold it in thirds so that when you're done folding them, it's almost like an envelope um, because the way you're going to file them away in your drawer is by standing them up so that you get a visual of all of your clothes. So lay them uh, on, the, on the bed and start folding them in, um, I guess in thirds, depending on how long your pants are. Um, you wanna make sure that you keep folding it up until you have a little envelope. So yeah, so this may be something that you already do, uh, and if you do, that is great, but this isn't the way I would put my pants away. Some people roll them up in a ball, some people just shove them in a drawer, but go ahead and fold them up um, as you go up to uh, at the end so that you're going to be making a nice little uh, sort of like I call it an envelope but there's the um, 
the last pair of pants that I just folded. And as you can see, I'm starting to make a little pile of the folded pants um, on the bed. And as you can also see, there's my remote watching TV at the same time. <laughs> so here you can see I have my nice little stack of pants that I've been folding up in thirds until um, I have them all in a nice little neat pile. But this is not going to be the way that I put them in my drawer because as you can see, you won't really see what's on the bottom or in the middle. You would have to start going rummaging through your pants to try to find the ones that you want. So um, the next frame will be how the drawer is going to look. So here's the genius of it. All the pants are filed in the drawer like you would put a file folder and I can clearly see which pants are what. I my blue jeans together. I have patterns together. It's pretty, pretty cool the way this works. Um, open up your drawer and be able to see exactly what you have. And I am loving it. So I did the same thing with my drawer where I had my little t-shirts, my little camisole tops, um, all those kinds of tops. I put them, took them out, folded each the right into folded into the right then into the left and folded it up like a little envelope and put them in the drawer standing up and I can see exactly what I have and I can pick exactly what I want to wear so if your drawers do not look like this then you're kind of missing out because you don't really know what you without going through all of your clothes what you have to choose from when you wake up in the morning or when you get ready for work or whatever it is you're going to do with your day um, if you have them filed away like this, you can actually see what's in your drawer and it makes life so much better. So last but not least is my summer drawer clothes um, where I have my shorts and some capri pants and some bathing suits. And this was the last drawer that I did um, in this little journey of trying to get organized. And once again, um, everything is folded like a little envelope and I just have it sitting in the drawer standing up so that I can see each and every piece of clothing um, so that I can uh, decide what it is that I would like to wear. So this to me, I mean, has just been, it's, it seems so silly and so easy, but it's, it's made the world of difference in my world of trying to be organized with clothing. And I hope it does the same for you. Oh yeah, that's about it. So that's pretty much the um, going through your clothes portion of the book. Um, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and uh, like the page, subscribe, and um, I will get back at you with um, another review real soon. But in the meantime, trust me, you will love the lifestyle of being able to wake up in the morning, <laughs> open up a drawer and know what you have and be able to be organized. Uh, it's a great, great, great feeling. So give it a try like I did and I think you'll like it. So see you next time. Bye.